homestead. This is day four on the peppers and tomatoes. And as you can see, there's more activity today. They're looking good. <laughs> They're tiny, but they'll grow fast. I um, fed them with, watered them with some uh, aquarium water. So they're getting some vitamins, things that they need, nutrients that they need. But they're looking pretty good. At least they're coming up. Tomorrow it's supposed to be freezing temperatures. Uh, it's supposed to get down to like 20 or 19 on Thursday. So I can't put anything out at the present time. I'm going to have to wait until after that cold spell passes. And once it's gone, I'll start planting out in the garden and I'll take you along with me so you can see how it's done and where it leads to. Last year, my tomato plants exceeded 10 feet tall and they snapped the bamboo posts completely snapped them off, fell over, and landed on a few pepper plants, which they were toast. But the tomatoes were huge. I mean huge. They were the big slicer tomatoes. So I took seeds from all those, and that's what I'm starting this year. And I have probably, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably 12 varieties of tomatoes here and 12 varieties of peppers so we'll see how it goes and i'll talk to you later bye bye